The anime is called Classroom of the Elite. Kayataka Ayanakoji becomes a student at the most prestigious elite school in Class 1D in the Tokyo metropolitan area, Kodo Ikusei Senior High School. It's an advanced nurturing high school established by the government for training Japan's brightest youth. Ayanakoji finds himself in the lowest class, that being Class D. Class D's homeroom teacher, Shabashiro Sai, explains the point system where everybody gets a monthly allowance of 100,000 points, with one point equaling to one yen, but warns her students that the school is on a merit-based system. Ayanakoji decides to navigate very clearly and very carefully, knowing that there's more to this point system than what she's letting on. Meanwhile, he starts a conversation with a gorgeous, upbeat student, Kikyo Kushida, and then attempts to become friends with the loner, Suzune Horikita. Kikyo wants to be friends with Horikita, so she asks Ainakoji to bring her to the cafe where all the girls go to meet. It was secretly arranged by Kikyo and four other students so they can be closer to Suzune. But Suzune sees right through this plan and leaves, warning Ainakoji never to do this again. At the end of April, all but a few students have spent a majority of their points and have started to slack off in their classes and their studies, doing this with no pushback from the teacher, which causes Kayataka to be suspicious. On the 1st of May, the students of Class D are stunned to find out they're not getting any allowance. Their teacher explains that their allowance depends on their merit in the classroom, and for ignoring their studies, the class has received zero points for the month. Shabashiro goes into one more detail of the classroom and explains how the point system works at the school, with there being four other first year classes that are ranked on merit, with classes having the chance to be promoted if they perform well in the exams. But with the current situation, anybody who fails one more exam will be expelled. With the class being shocked, knowing the consequences, fully aware of the school rules now, the students take their studies a lot more seriously, except for some of them who just accept their fate of failing not wanting to be helped. That being the three biggest idiots of the classroom, Ken Sudo, Kaji Aike, and Haruki Yamachi, Horikita treats Ayanakoji to an extravagant meal to ask him for assistance to bring in these idiots so they can go study at the library. Ayanakoji and Kikyo succeed in getting them to come, but they immediately leave. After hearing Horikita's attitude, Ken lets everyone know that he wants to be rich by playing professional basketball. That night, Kayotaka goes out for a drink and overhears Suzuno talking with someone, that being her older brother, Manabu Horikita, who is the student council president. Manabu tries to attack her over an argument about her views on the other students, with her being too independent, which is the reason why she's been placed in the lowest class. As he goes in for the attack, Kayotaka then intervenes, then dodges a series of attacks, impressing him, with him also questioning how he's so good. But Ainakoji answers Manabu with no real answer. Manabu then remembers there was a person who scored his entire entry exam with 50 points, which calls into question if it was done intentionally, with Ainakoji saying it was just an accident. With Manabu being surprised, his sister made a friend, but she denies this, saying she doesn't need a friend, with him sighing, being very disappointed in her mindset before leaving. The two students go to speak with each other, Suzuno awkwardly apologizes that he had to see that. Then she remarks about his martial arting ability and his proficiency at it. He answers that he used to do non-martial arts activities like tea ceremonies. Suzuno reminds him that he just contradicted himself in the previous statement, where he told her he did piano and calligraphy. She questions him on her brother's earlier query on whether he intentionally got the exact same scoring to have points each time. With him not giving a clear answer, Suzuno then remarks that everything about him is a mystery, where he interjects and asks is she really done with the studying group, stating that those who fail don't concern her. Kayataka soon interjects on whether it was this distant and cold behavior personality wise that put her in her current predicament, placing her in class D. The midterm exams come around, and Class D as a whole performs very well, with some scoring among the highest among the first year students in the school. As a result, everyone passed except for Ken, who missed the passing threshold by one point. But it's revealed that the grades were the result of Kayataka spending 15,000 points to buy the questions so he can get the old exam from the upperclassmen three days before the exam, which none of the students in Class D knew about. Kayataka goes in to invite Kanasudo, 
to the group, but finds him being provoked by some other students from Class C. When Kin tries to attack them, he's stopped before he's able to connect. With two students grabbing him, with their leader, Kakuru Ruin, about to poke out one of his eyes, saying he knew Kin would fail his test and be expelled, Kin gets scared as Kakuru simply flicks his head. But when he tries to go any further, Hanami, each noise, intervenes, telling them all to stop whatever it is that they're doing because it's against the rules. Kakuru says it was self-defense, but she saw everything, saying she'll go and call the security, saying that they're fighting on school grounds. They let Kin go, and Kin leaves, feeling very angry that he had to be rescued, so he plans to get revenge on them, but he is quickly told off. Kayataka asks Kin to come to the studying group again, but he refuses and goes to practice basketball. Aina Koji goes to talk to his teacher, asking her the question of whether or not equality actually exists, and she replies with, it doesn't, seeing that they're in agreement, then offers to pay her with his points, so Kin won't be expelled, to which she accepts it, but she wants 100,000 points in exchange but he's unable to pay this offer by himself. Susane joins in to offer 50,000 points, buying the missing points he would need. Amused by this, Shabashiro voices her earlier belief that this Class D would interest her, and seeing this already proves her right, with her accepting their offer, telling them to inform Kin he's not going to be expelled. After accepting the offer, their teacher also tells them that no Class D student has ever been able to advance and promote it to Class C, asking them, are they any different? Horikita answering with, in her experience, they only need the slightest of alterations to reach this. But they're laughing, but smiling knowing her class will be very interesting moving forward. That night, they organize a little party to celebrate in Aina Koji's room. With them wondering, why is this all happening in his room? Kikyo asking if Aina Koji helped Kin, with the others quieting down to hear the answer. But he passes the credit on to Suzune, with it not being a full lie, but far from the truth. Saying she went to the board, giving a very detailed presentation how it wasn't fair, Susan was able to go with the lie, but barely able to explain the story to the party, with them all having a different outlook on her, especially Sudo. Kikyo is visibly angry, but no one pays attention, and she goes to leave, Kikyo leaving her cell phone behind. Ainakoji goes to follow her to get back her phone, only to find her having a tantrum and her true personality coming out, saying how she really feels about Horikita, but he steps on a branch, with her being able to hear that someone else is there. Having been discovered, she blackmails him by grabbing his hand, showing a picture of it, saying she'll ruin him. As she lets her hand go, Ainakoji thinks to the previous conversation he had with her, with his bubbly personality, wondering how much of it was all an act, and for what reason. She takes a deep breath, and returns to her bubbly self, saying that they have another secret. We next see Class 1B, whose scores have come out from the recent quiz, with some students excitedly saying it's all because of Hanami Ichinoza's tutoring, where she voices out her desire for the whole class to reach 1A. Time goes by with Anakoji looking back at his recent talkings with Kikyo. Anakoji sees Kikyo and Suzune in the elevator, with the two of them still being distant, because Suzuno thinks there's something off about her. Kikyo voices her disappointment that Suzuno didn't want to walk with her to school before Hanami appears, with her cheerfully greeting Kikyo, where she meets Aina Koji. After a brief discussion about their relationship, Kikyo then asks if they've received their points yet, but the two can't answer. On July 1st, when Class D's points were going to be distributed, it was put on hold due to an incident from the previous day involving Sudo and three other students from Class C. With these students, who are all on the basketball team, stating that Ken attacked them, and they fall back in self-defense. But without any other witness, they can't clear Sudo's name. The next week, they'll be having a hearing to see if Ken was liable for the action. This resulted in Class D not receiving any points for the month. This is where we're going to leave off on today's video, with this anime being broken down into multiple parts. Now, if you like what you saw here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll be uploading more daily videos like this one. So I'll see you next time.